a another question and answer video for you. So I got a question from Grand Coffee 26 and they want to know, you know, as a pharmacy student, you have all these exams, these internships, uh, these extracurricular activities and things like that. How the heck do you stay on task and manage your time? So this video is going to be mainly dedicated to time management, okay? So first off, you know, I want to say that, you know, pharmacy school, you're really busy. You need to have already learned how to time manage. So basically you should start practicing in high school and undergrad. And that's when you really need to focus on learning how to time manage and learning your priorities and goals. So uh, it's really important to build these skills because it's not something that you can just switch on right when you get into pharmacy school. Oh, I'm going to manage my time properly now. It's not how it works because it takes time to learn this skill and build this skill and, and um, basically train yourself to be able to focus that way. So when I started undergrad, it was really hard, you know, even the first quarter or first semester, I was just struggling to figure out how to manage my time, how to set my priorities, and so I tacked on a ton of different things. I joined clubs, I did um, volunteer work, I took a bunch of classes, and I just overloaded myself. I had no idea what I was doing. I thought I could handle it, and obviously that didn't work. I did really bad that semester. Uh, but, you know, after over Christmas break, I really thought about what I was doing wrong and I started to, you know, lessen my load, focus on the priorities at tasks that I set for myself and the goals and, um, you know, made some sacrifices and I definitely did a lot better and I just started building on top of that and that was my freshman year in undergrad. So. Um, if you want to know uh, my GPA, the first quarter, first semester of my freshman year was, I think, about 2.6, 2.8, somewhere around there. And then my second semester, I did a 3.8 GPA. So it was a huge difference in um, my GPA. And so after that, I just kept going. You know, I did fine after that. Uh, and some of the things that you can do to help time manage uh, is to basically use technology, uh, whatever you have. So majority of people now are starting to have smartphones like iPhones and things like that. I, I like to use my calendar and I enter all my uh, meetings, all my study sessions, all the times I need to work and I block off times where I have to study every single day, like two hours here, one hour here one hour here at this library, you know, I make sure I'm really OCD about what I'm going to do throughout the day and that helped me focus and prioritize what I needed to get done and that really helped me. So I'm not sure how each of you will handle your time management, so you got to figure out a way that whatever works for you. I also used a planner, I write out all the things I needed to do for the day. So for example, you set your goals, make a list of all the tasks you need to do and a lot of smartphones now have task lists for the day so if you can input all the stuff you need to do and then start crossing them off or checking them off as you go along throughout the day that really helps you stay focused and uh, get things accomplished so those are some ways uh, you can use Google calendars online you know anything that basically can help you set alarms and uh, reminders on your phone and those are great options uh, and also each year this is a little off topic but each year like for new, new year resolutions I like to make create a list of my long-term goals for my uh, throughout the year that I want to accomplish and I try to look at this every single month to see what I've finished and try to cross those off or delete that and that's always a document a word document on my computer on my desktop that I look at so that's something that you can also use for yourself. Uh, so those are the ways to help manage your time. You know, everyone's different. Everyone does it differently. So I hope this video helps you uh, learn how to get some ideas on what you can do to manage your time and know that it's not something that you can learn right away. It's something you've got to train yourself for. So 
Good luck. Comment below on what you think and other ideas you have for people to manage their time and uh, thumb this video up. And remember, eat your vegetables.